you got going on there? Gifts. Little little homie. Hi. Hi. I got lots of gifts. You do have gifts. Did I get you those gifts? Nope. I did not. But we got this Christmas tree. I'm the gift. You are the gift. You're the gift. The gift that keeps on giving. What is going on, everybody? This is not a rambling road episode, unfortunately, but there are a lot of announcements that I need to make with Waylon. More importantly, I think you guys are more interested in Waylon. And then I got some big stuff that's going on with my courses that I'm just really proud of. And so I've got some announcements and some winners to announce. Lots of announcing going on. Anyways. Let me just show you this little ghetto lighting rig I made. We've got the tree in the corner with some lights there, but then I've got this like mesh stuff that's kind of acting as like a, a soft or a diffuser. It's my diffusing material. But then behind it is I have, I've got this cheap Chinese brand, this L LED panel. I don't know how much it was, but a lot cheaper than the normal LED panels that you see some big filmmakers use. And then the diffusing mesh material is taped with gaff tape. That's my setup. Let me know what you guys think of kind of the light, how it looks. I think it looks pretty good, but when I sit down, I'll get my settings all set up and whatnot. I don't feel good this drink. It's like, I might throw up. Stop drinking it. You feel like you're gonna throw up? Want some water? Let me know what you guys think about this lighting setup. If you're interested in purchasing this LED panel, there's a couple of them. I'll link them in the description if you're, if I can find, I don't know if I can find them. Thanks babe. Okay. It's okay. I have not posted on YouTube in a couple of weeks. I mean, yes, I posted Friday, I believe, but that was a promo video for my brand new course that I've been working on, and I'll talk about that in a bit, but that's not the focus of this video. The focus of this video are three people that took my filmmaking course this last round. If you guys didn't know, I have a filmmaking course. It's a six-week course that I started. It's, it's a new thing that I've been doing, and I've done two rounds of it. This is my second round and we had 45 people it was a huge success and at the end of the six weeks I always do a short film competition where we take everything that we learned throughout the six weeks and create a short film and I've got a number one winner I've got a runner-up and then I have a most improved and I just have to say that I am completely and 100% blown away by the skills the talent just it's like it makes me want to get out there, start shooting and getting just loads better. So these people inspire me a ton. Everyone inspired me in this course, but I had to pick three people. It is what it is. But without further ado, I want to start with the number one winner because I want to play their short film for you guys so you can see their work and go follow them on YouTube, Instagram, all that good stuff. So without further ado, our number one winner is Mac Olink. He completely blew me away with his compositions, his storytelling, his sound design, his color grading. I thought he nailed it all the way through. So let's watch and enjoy Mac Olink's short film. Some people will never understand the meaning of lonely or the never good enough feeling that takes over slowly. Maybe I would have been better off not having been born in the first place. Thoughts like these seem to break me down in the worst ways. Still on the outside, I look fine. At least that's all you'll ever see. But it's just not that simple. And nor will it ever be. And everything just adds up. It can be so hard to handle. Sometimes I wish I could just make the time stand still. Take a second to question the weight of my decisions. Think your life will be the only one affected? It sure as hell isn't. And who even knows if when you die things will get better? What if you're alone, full of regret that's with you forever? It would be out of your hands. It would be too late once you've done that. There's no second chances no way to come back. So put the gun away, and if you want peace and happiness, then go grab a hold of it. Because it's a beautiful life you live. 
and you're in control of it. So yeah, pretty pretty powerful. We've last last round we had Marvin that one, and now we have Mac. Both of them were very inspiring, and yet had a dark element to them as well. So I find that pretty interesting. I, but I try to look at it as very objective. Like, how is the sound design? How is the color grain? Did it flow? Did it keep my engagement? Is this impactful? So I think Mac Olink just totally crushed it, nailed it out of the park. I hope you guys go and follow him on YouTube, Instagram. Give him the love that you guys give me. It would be really appreciated. Our runner up is John Verone. He has been just consistent the entire time. It's fun because I can see where he picks up his inspiration because the people that inspire him also inspire me. It's been awesome to watch him just get better and better. And then finally, number three, our most improved has to go to Ingrid Dos Santos. She is just incredible. She blew me away with how much progress she has made. And it's just been fun getting to see her work and getting to know her. It's just been an incredible experience for me. So I would love for you guys to go follow these people, check out their work, you know, continue to support them, give them the support that you guys give me. It would be absolutely incredible. So those are our three winners. I'm very excited. This has been fun. It's been fun for me. I didn't think I would have this much fun, but it's fun. Now, with all of that behind us, what I want to talk about now is where I am at in my life. So something that happened in Chicago where my mindset was really down and it happened here as well. I just, I think it was just the transition, the change in environment, me missing my dad and my mom, my family. So I was just kind of in this negative mindset and just not feeling so great. And I think it really reflected in my videos as well. The energy really wasn't there, even though I like to keep it extremely real on this channel. I'm just not the happiest person all the time. You know, I'm human, just like you guys. I want to be someone on YouTube that you guys go watch and, and feel like you can see part of yourself and me and what I'm going through. So I don't like to make it a highlight reel. I've talked about that before. I want to spice up my creativity. I feel like I'm kind of tired of the same old rambling road vlog. I really want to spice it up and make it fun for me and make it enjoyable for me again and make it something that I look forward to every single day. So I've got some ideas on kind of the flow. It's still going to be mainly about Waylon as much as I can, even though it's a slower process than I anticipated. But talking about Waylon really quick, there's big things happening behind the scenes. A graphic designer and I are collaborating on the very first t-shirt line, limited edition t-shirt line, which I'm like super excited about. And then also those water bottles. We're looking probably at a 2019 t-shirt water bottle launch and getting those out while I continue to work on the backpack. You know, the backpacks require a lot of money. It's a really big investment. And so the t-shirts and the water bottles are going to help fund that and just continue to grow it and grow it and grow it. So I hope that makes sense. That's kind of where I'm headed right now. I'm just being honest with you guys. But my question to you is, what do you guys want to see? You know, I, I put a lot out on this channel. I put stuff about my courses. I put some filmmaking tips. I put my normal day-to-day -day video stuff with me and Wix. I put stuff out with Waylon. What do you guys like the most? I would love some ideas. I've always wanted to do a Netflix series where I get off of YouTube for two months. I go and film 10 episodes and make them really, really great and then just upload them all like one after the other day, like literally 10 days in a row. I've thought about doing that and I still might, who knows? But I, I care about you guys more than I care about just numbers. So my question to you is, 
What do you guys want to see on this channel? Let me know in the comments. I am finishing up my brand new course launch. You guys saw the promo video in my last video. If not, check it out. It's all about how to make it full time as a creator without a massive audience. But there are modules where we go over how to build a massive audience. I have not built a massive audience. So I've brought in experts that have built massive audiences. We've got Lewis Howes, we've got Nick Bear, and we got Sarah Snow. All three of them are coming on to teach a module in their specific expertise. So it's really exciting. There is a premium cost with this course. And the reason for that is because what you gain out of it, how many hours have gone into it, and how serious I want you to take it. That's what I'm working on right now, which is why I've been kind of off YouTube. For the past two weeks, it's taken literally my entire day um, for the past two weeks. And then I've been working on it for the past four months, just not every single day like I am right now. Anyways, <laughs> oh, anyways, I'm gonna leave it at that. What do you guys wanna see on this channel? I would love some ideas. I've got some ideas myself, but I love you guys. I love you. I <laughs> do you hear me, babe? I don't know what's going on with me. I'm messed up right now. I should stop before I say something stupid. So yes, that is what's going on right now. We're gonna finish up this course, get it out there, and then I'm gonna start uploading Rambling Road episodes again and um, continue to build Wayland. It is it's such a big fucking task, such a challenge. But I took it on and, uh, and we're gonna nail it out of the park no matter how long it takes, but we're gonna we're gonna do it. Um, you could probably expect to see backpacks in 2019 though, that's for damn certain. But t-shirts, water bottles, those are gonna be coming out early 2019. That's gonna be our first run of um, actual product. And then the camera backpack will come out hopefully shortly after that, we'll see. Anyways, let me know what you guys wanna see and I'll catch you in the next one, later. Uh, work so fucking much, my greatest fear is I'ma die alone Every diamond in my chain, yeah, that's a milestone I'm loving it, I'm People loving it. calling me, asking me for money, man uh. The only thing I'ma give you motherfuckers is yeah. a dial flash